What's up, freaks? This is Steve Says, episode number 61. Just going to pull you up on the second screen here. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Give me a second to get in the room. Steve Says, episode number 61. Are you hiding in your shell your entire life? It's time to break freaking free. And we're going to go over exactly how to do that. Exactly what we're talking about. So are you, are, you, are you hiding in your shell? Are you ready to break out? Are you ready to break free? And what's holding you back? Put it in the comments. What's holding you back? As I pull you up. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's start with what's, what's holding you back in life. You already know most of the answer. You can see it down there in the rest of it. But you know, this is Steve Says, episode 61. Some people will hate, but most can relate. Bring the fucking fire every second of every second. And today we're talking about, are you locked in a cage in your own freaking mind? Are you holding yourself back from opportunities and potential relationships and success? Are you ready to break free from your own mental shackles? Let's talk about it. Making sure our audio is up. And we are good. We're set. So you know what Steve says is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles preventing success in your health, your family, your finances, so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms. That's what it's all about. It's about adapting and overcoming, becoming a better version of yourself every day, trusting the process, and of course, making no freaking excuses. That's what it's all about. The invasion is coming and we must defeat the enemy. Who's here? Robert Feldman. Eliana, a couple of very normal people there watching. They've got nothing better to do in the middle of their day than to come and hang out with me. But let's talk about it. So you have any questions, comments, put them on down there. Put them there. Let's talk about it. So, what are we talking about today? There's a, there's a single word that, I, that this whole thing is all about. And it's a single word that I've been given to as a label across my fucking forehead and told that's what you are. And even though I never really knew what the word really meant until a couple of years ago... It's a word I was called my entire life. In one way or the other, it's a word that was used to describe me and label me. And I'm sure tons of you out there. And we're going to break this shit down. Now, this word can also mean loner. Or, yes, no, you're definitely not normal, Robert. Definitely not. This word, this, can be, this, this also can be normal, narcissist, egoist, solitary, or a shy person. A person characterized by concern primarily with his or her, her own thoughts or feelings. So listen to that. So those are, this, these are all like opposite words. This is how fucked up this label really is. That, okay, it can mean a loner, but it can mean a narcissist. It can mean a shy person. It can mean a person characterized by concern primarily with his or her own thoughts or feelings. So if you think about anything, you know, your own thoughts or feelings, then you're a narcissist, I guess. Or an egoist. Or solitary. Or a loner. And of course, this word that we're talking about, the evil word, the stupid fucking word, is an introvert, right? I'm told my entire life, I'm sure plenty of you out there were told your entire life, you're an introvert. Oh, you're just introverted. You're just introverted. It's okay. He's an introvert. Oh, I'm introverted. Basically, when it comes down to it, what, is, what the fuck is introvert? That's what it means. You look it up in the dictionary. That's what it means. A shy person or a narcissist. So you're shy or you're a narcissist. Which one is it? Or an egoist, a loner. A person characterized by concern primarily with his or her own thoughts or feel and feelings. So then, all right, then what's the opposite of that? We know the opposite of an introvert is a, is a freaking extrovert. So what's an extrovert? An outgoing, gregarious person. A person characterized pr primarily with their physical environment. It's basically the opposite of an introvert. A character, an exhibitionist, a showboat, the life of the fucking party, right? The extrovert, the cool guy, the life of the party. And so basically, you're told you're either an introvert or an ex extrovert, right? And if you're introverted, you're kind of like the loser, the weirdo, the creep over in the corner. And if you're the extrovert, you're over there and you're just probably on cocaine or some shit. That's why you're a fucking extrovert. But that's besides the point. That's a whole nother topic. But I, I do believe that you're born with certain types of like underlying personalities or whatever, right? That that are molded, but then and then probably that personality is kind of molded and geared and directed in your life, especially in your childhood. I'm sure there is something to that. 
what society's gonna label you. Like, literally, I was a fucking told I'm introverted from when I was like three years old, two years old. I was three years old wearing a fucking black Zorro mask out on the playgrounds to hide from the other kids. So what made me want to wear a fucking Zorro mask at three years old? Couldn't have been, where'd it come from? So there's something to it that your personality is kind of almost predetermined in you, right? But then your life and your child is going to move it around a little bit and you could definitely change parts of it. But just to be told, you're introverted. And then the worst is when someone uses introvert, they say that they are introverted. So then they can't, you know, go and do things like get off their fucking ass and take action because they're introverted, you know? Basically, my whole life, I always felt like I just hated everybody. I hated everybody. What caused it? I don't even know what caused it. What made me this fucking introvert? Just get that shit tattooed on my head. I am fucking introverted. Leave me alone. I am introverted. Go away. I basically lived in a, a bubble around me my entire life. Not in a bubble. Fucking more t tight and confined. More like a, a fishbowl wrapped around me. And it's like, that was my little world. And it's kind of hard to get inside that world. And then it was, re and that little slight thought, because I was probably in my personality a little bit as I was born, so that little tiny bit of thought, now you're laid with that, and you're treated like that, like this fucking plague. Oh, you're the introvert. You're the introvert. You're fucking weirdo. Go hide in the corner, you creep. And so it then leads you into getting deeper and deeper into that predetermined kind of almost personality that's in you. Why do I wear a Zara mask? Why do I feel like I hate everyone? When I went to school, I had zero friends in school. Zero. I never went to any fucking birthday parties. I never had a birthday party. I had one birthday party. I've told about that in the past, and I'm not going to tell that again because I might snap if I have to tell that stupid story. Okay, I'll tell the story. I was allowed one birthday party. In my life, I only had one birthday party. In the first grade, I was allowed to invite, you know how many people? One person. So this one person showed up to my birthday party. He showed up a little late because that's what you do. We don't want to be the first one, I guess, there. And he got there and it's just me. And I think like maybe three or four of my sisters were there. I don't think my brother was there. That was the party. What was the food? It was a pound cake. You know what a pound cake is? Like that little square plain fucking cake that looks like a, a stale piece of bread. That was the cake. What were the, there was maybe a bowl of like some stale pretzels or some shit like that. Or Pringles or some, some shit. He gets there. He's like, where's everybody else? I said, motherfucker, you are everybody else. He started crying. He called his mother. He made us call his mother. There were no cell phones back then, way back, whenever the fuck this was, 80s, early 80s. Calls his mother, picks him up, and he leaves. I remember he gave me two G.I. Joe characters. That was the only birthday present I ever had in my life. The only G.I. Joes I ever had in my life were those two freaking characters. One of them was actually a Marine. What's his name? The Marine G.I. Joe character. I forget it. Another one was the ninja with the black ninja suit. Anyway, see, that's how deep, look at that. That's how deep I remember these details. Because I was an introvert. I had no friends. Wasn't allowed to, to, to bring one over because we were the poor, freaking loser family on the block. No one liked us. Had no money. You're introverted. You're introverted. So it makes you be an adult. Literally, it got to when I'm an adult, as an adult, if I'm standing at an elevator, now it's different. I'm going to tell you how, where, where the change happened and, and the, all this. So it used to be, and not in the far too distant past, I could be standing at an elevator, right? and there's no one there, I'll hit the button. If someone else comes and starts waiting for the elevator, I'll walk away like I had somewhere to be. I'll let them go in the elevator just so I don't have to be trapped in the elevator with that motherfucker. That's how much you get steered in that direction. Literally, this is not a joke. I would literally wait for the elevator to go if I was gonna be the only person in that elevator with, 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 with this creep, even though I'm supposedly the creep, right? Or a wedding, forget about it. I told some wedding stories yesterday in our sales meeting, but we won't get into that, that the, those details, but that table at a wedding, you it doesn't get much more, because that's like close range, that's like right in my fishbowl. It doesn't get much more uncomfortable for an introvert at a freaking wedding, sitting at a table, right? Having stuck there, speaking with these people. Oh, whose side are you on? Whose side are you on? Motherfucker, I don't give a fuck whose side you're on. Leave me alone. I just want to go home. I want to go home in my bubble, right? So, that's for, for me, I don't know where it came from, but you have you get to the point where you start have to say, start have to, start have to, Thinking like, what, what is causing this? And what's the real reason? What the fuck is the issue? Why am I like this? What is causing me to behave like this or even think like this? Because you know it's holding you back in so much in your, with your family, in your career, if you have a business, with anything, with your health and your fitness and your results, it's holding you back. Because you're told that this is the way you are and you're labeled like this your entire fucking life. But then if you're the extrovert, you're the party, you're the party animal, probably has all kinds of fucking diseases and all kinds of shit. Never mind, never mind. We're not going in that, that direction. Forget that. So the point is, 
Sometimes inch people use introvert. Oh, I'm introverted. I can't do that. I'm not comfortable with that. I just that doesn't make me comfortable. AKA, I'm being a little bitch. I'm being fucking lazy, and I'm making motherfucking excuses. That's basically what 99.9 .9 of people that are saying they're introverted are. And that's what I started thinking about myself. You know, just a, a couple years ago, maybe even less than a couple years ago. Like, why would I avoid these situations? Like, like, wake the fuck up. Stop being a little bitch. You can even see. If you see I have a bracelet, well not a bracelet, I don't wear a fucking bracelet, but whatever this thing is called, one of them rubber bands, I don't know if you can even see it, if you can or you can't, because you're on a delay, I can't see if it's on the screen. Anyway, and it literally says, stop being a little bitch. That's my 10X one, and then the Peak Freak one, of course, Peak Freak, no excuses, and obsessed. But literally, stop being a little bitch and no excuses, that's what I look at all day. So nowadays, if I have a thing, and it just happened this weekend, I was out in California, I'm standing at the elevator, Waiting to get in, these two gentlemen come stand next to me to get in the elevator. Normally, that's the time I would just pretend, you know, you're fake talking on the phone. And then you're fake talking and the fucking phone rings, right? So that's, that's the time that I normally would go away. But nowadays, I intentionally, well, I won't go, but I will say something to someone in an elevator. I make it a thing. Well, I will say something to them when we are the only ones in the elevator. I'll break that, even though they're probably creeped the fuck out by me. They're like, holy shit, stop talking, motherfucker. I'm an introvert. They're probably thinking that. So I get in this elevator. I start talking to the guys. I forget what, I don't even remember what I said to them. I'll find something to say to them. He had, or he had a shirt on. A, uh, some football team. Some, some California football team, some sports team. And so I made some comment about it. Whatever. It's a cool shirt. He, and I just finished coming from the gym, the hotel gym. So I made it a point to talk to these people because I said, I'm going to break out of this shell. I'm going to stop being a little bitch. And I made, it, I made it a thing where if I'm in an elevator, I will say something to the people in the elevator. I'll just, as, as part of my own self, whatever the fuck therapy you want to call it, right? So I just finished working out, had a, my peak tank top on, and this guy had a dick do, if you know what that is. These guys were big. They were, they were, these, they were, they, they smelled like they were drunk. It was like seven in the morning. I just finished working out. They really smelled like they were drunk and they had two plates of food that I guess they got from like breakfast or something. They were bringing up to their room to have their third or fourth breakfast or some shit. So I'm talking to them, and I'm so engaged in trying to make sure that I stick to my new rule of talking the elevator, right? That I'm getting off on the the 13th floor, or whatever the fourth floor was in. One floor below there is not 13. I think that was getting off on the 15th floor. They were getting off on the 14th floor. So the elevator door opens up for them, and not thinking, they get out, and I enter. I exit the elevator with them. And this guy has them. This doesn't have to do with the story. I just tell them the story because it happened. He has the nerve to tell me while he's wolfing it down with, with, the, with the powder all over his face and all this. And when I talked about his shirt, it got into working out because he said, oh, I just came from the gym. So I'm talking about workout and exercise in the two seconds that we're in the elevator because we strike up a conversation. He says, oh, all the muscles go into your head because I got off the elevator with him. And then I got back in. I'm like, motherfucker, I guess yeah, I should just stay introverted. Whatever. That's probably why I hate everybody. People are just assholes. But anyway, that has nothing to do with this introverted thing that's just what happened in the elevator like I went out of my way to start this conversation with this guy to be different than the asshole just want to bash everyone's head in right taking big steps and so I walk out of the elevator on the wrong floor and I'm like oh shit not realizing and I'm, and I'm turning around and I'm like, yeah, he says oh don't let all those muscles go to your head what the fuck does that even mean all those muscles go to your head anyway let's keep rolling so it came to the point, I had to tell myself, stop being a little bitch. Stop being so freaking lazy. It's time to just unleash the freaking beast because you're going to miss out on opportunities. You're going to miss out on relationships in life. You're going to miss out on douchebags in an elevator in California if you are that introvert that runs away when the elevator door closes. You're just going to miss out on all the fun in life like some guy telling you the muscles get into your head. But it doesn't matter. You're going to take the good with the bad because you're just fucking awesome. You're just crazy and you're obsessed and you're not being a little bitch. So you need, need to unleash the freaking beast. You need to let it break out of your shell. Break out of that bullshit introvert shell that your, your whole family and your teachers and probably your, your, your psychiatrists all told you you're an introvert. It's okay. You're just an introvert. There, again, there is something to it, but that doesn't mean you can't get into the fucking elevator and start up a conversation. So you need to unleash your inner freak. Let the freak out. Let the motherfucking freak out. You're going to miss out on opportunities. So how do I overcome this? Well, the first thing was... Just stop being a little bitch. We already covered that pretty in pretty much in detail, right? That's a pretty deep one. Stop being a little bitch. Really? When it comes down to it, the phrase, stop being a little bitch, is like the most powerful thing in the world. You could probably cure freaking, you could, you could probably create world peace with the term, stop being a little bitch. 
Like seriously, I use that all the time. It solves so many situations. Stop being a little bitch. It's very simple. Stop being a little bitch. Stop being a little bitch. Very simple. Stop being an introvert, AKA stop being a little bitch. Stop making excuses. And same thing on, on the whole extrovert thing. Stop saying, oh, I can act like a drunken fucking idiot full of noxious fucking douchebag because I'm an extrovert. Like maybe like this, this portly motherfucker in the elevator telling him muscle, he probably was an extrovert. So that's what he does. He makes jokes because he's, ext- oh, you're so funny. You're such an extrovert. You're such a people person. Motherfucker, fuck you. All right. So stop being a lazy little bitch. So how do I do it? Like videos like this right now. A few years ago, you would not have caught me dead Talking to you, although we're hiding through the internet and the freaking online and all this, but still, a video, a live video like this, with you freaks out there watching with me, it just never would have happened. And I also make it a goal, and some days I miss it, but I try. I have a goal to meet one new person every day. Meet one new person every day in some way, and I'll miss that sometimes, but I make it a goal to make that happen. Also doing... Forcing yourself. So what's the best way you have, you're having a struggle or something? You're not going to get around it. You're not going to hide from it. You can turn around and run the other direction. But that shit's still going to be there. The best thing is to run right through that motherfucker. We know that already. Run straight through that freaking obstacle. Forget trying to climb over it. Weasel on your way under it like a little snake or whatever. Tiptoeing around it or just running away like a little bitch. Run straight through it. Run straight over that motherfucker. So like if I, I didn't like, I don't like speaking to people, right? I don't like speaking to people. Don't like speaking to crowds. Don't like speaking to people in person. Don't like large crowds. Don't like speaking to large crowds in person. So what do you do? You start doing some freaking public speaking. Just go out there and do it. Rip off the fucking band-aid. Put on your big boy shoes and just make shit happen. Like these different lunch and learns we do with tons of the local companies around here about fitness and nutrition and business coaching and personal development and mindset and mentoring. Like what we were just doing out in California just last week. With a ton of business owners, just coaching a ton of business owners from all over the freaking world in all different industries. Yes, the fucking introvert was there in front of this group traveling across the country to go do this. Because you need to break free of those shells that the world is telling you are. And not just introvert, it's any other, any one of those labels that you're given. We did an episode a few months ago about the different names you were called as a kid and broke those all down. And introvert wasn't on that list, but it is one of them. It's a huge one that you need to break fucking free to get to the levels of success you want to get to in life. You need to get there. Like, what else What else do I do to break through it? Well, I'll wear this logo anywhere I go. I need to get a suit with this logo on it because it's just a conversation start. It makes someone start, if, start up a conversation, something to talk about. It's a conversation starter. Same with wearing two different shoes. We already know the real reason why we wear different shoes because we're just different and through, the, through our kid, my kids taught it to me and all that other stuff. But it's also just a conversation starter. It breaks you out of that shell. They ask you a question and you know you know the answer and it's a story. And right there, you start talking and having a conversation. Conversation starters. So I started maybe thinking, wow, this is crazy. So I made these goals to stop being a little bitch, stop being a break out of my shell because it's just holding me back in life, right? So I started thinking, hmm, maybe I don't hate everyone in the world. Maybe I don't hate everyone. Maybe I just hate stupid motherfuckers. That's probably what it is. Maybe I just hate motherfuckers that waste your time. Motherfuckers with poor values. Freaking losers that's got no goals, no dreams. And small motherfucking thinkers. Don't come into my bowl. Don't come into my fishbowl. Anyone that doesn't fall, it falls into those categories, you're welcome into the fishbowl. And there's no introversion at all. Because you could, like, think about it. You're around someone who's kind of like-minded has the same big, a big thinker like you, and you could just talk like you've known each other for years. You have that, you relate to each other. But someone that's just talking about a small thinker that just wants to go fucking order some pizza and go sit at a bar and get trashed until like 3 or 4 a.m. Motherfucker, go that way. Please get away from me. Please. So you have my permission to break free of this introverted freaking personality that you were told you are. And you have my permission to break free and not give a fuck what anyone thinks. Go and do it. Stop being a little bitch. Just make it happen. You're holding yourself back. Don't live with the label. Introvert. Fuck introvert. And extrovert and all this other bullshit. You really, I never knew what these two words meant until a couple years ago. And I said, huh, that's me. That's what I've been told that was my whole life. I never knew what it meant. In one way or another, I knew what it meant. Drop that shit. Drop that shit. 
You're not introverted. You're just being held back by probably your friends or your family or your competitors or society or someone that thinks, acts like they're with you and is really just holding you back. Oh, it's okay. You're introverted. I know how you are. It's okay. Go sit in the fucking corner. Shut up. Shut up. I'm coming out of the motherfucking corner and I'm going to make a scene like them dumbass extroverts over there. Anyway, you get the point. Not going to beat it to death. Don't be an introvert. Be yourself. Break out of your fucking shell and you will reach huge new levels of success that never would have been possible because you were letting the world hold you back. Let yourself hold you back in your own fucking head. It's just in your head. It's all in your fucking head. Break free from that shit. Break out of your shell and watch the new levels of success you're going to reach. No excuses.